In the previous tutorial, we learned how to create a beautiful to-do application. In this tutorial, we will use Hive database to store our to-dos locally inside our device's local storage. Hive is a lightweight and blazing fast NoSQL database that is written in pure Dart. It allows you to store your data as key developers inside your device. To be able to use Hive in our Flutter application, we need to add four dependencies. Inside the dependencies, let's add Hive and Hive Flutter. And inside the dev dependencies, let's add Hive Generator and also Build Runner. We also need to initialize Hive before our application runs. For that purpose, before the run app, we first of all do the Flutter widget binding, import Hive, make this method async, and lastly, initialize Hive. By default, Hive supports all primitive data types, including map, list, date time, and also uint at list. But if you want to store a more complex data type, like a task, you need to create an adapter. To create an adapter, you can either write it manually or generate it. In this tutorial, we're gonna generate an adapter. For that purpose, let's first of all add this line. So this is name of the generated adapter. And as we don't have it, it's turned red. We also need to annotate each of our class with a Hive type and pass it an ID that can be between 0 and 255. We also need to annotate each of our fields with a Hive field that also need an ID. This ID should be unique. So let's annotate all our fields. Let's hit save and run this command in the terminal. And when you hit enter, now you can see that an adapter is being generated for us. Now that we have created our adapter, let's also register it. So on top of init flutter, let's register our adapter. This is of type task, of course. Let's also open our box. A box in Hive is very similar to a table in SQL. And before using any box, we also need to open it. Opening a box means all the data it holds is going to be loaded into memory so that it would be very fast to load them. So make sure you open your box somewhere at the top of our application, like inside the main.dart. So let's learn how to add a task to Hive. In order to add a task we have to Hive, all we need to do is to access the box and then use a put method. Put method takes two parameters. One is the key for which we are using task.id and one is the value that we are storing our task. So let's now get rid of set set method because we no longer need it. So updating a task is very similar. Inside the onEdit, we're gonna write the same code that we use for adding a task. So we go inside the task and pass the ID. And if the ID exists, we're gonna override the task. And we also need to get rid of set state. And lastly, let's learn how to remove a task. And to remove a task, all we need to do is to get a box and also use the delete method and pass the ID. So as the last step, I'm gonna add a feature to be able to display the tasks. So for that, I'm gonna wrap my listview.builder with the value listenable builder. We use a value listenable because if we add or remove a task, our list of tasks is gonna be updated automatically. So inside the value listenable, I'm gonna say hive.box tasks.listenable. Inside the builder, we have a context, a box, and a child. So let's use our box to get list of tasks. Inside the box, I'm gonna go to the values. That is an iterable of tasks. I'm gonna save it inside the tasks. And inside listview.builder, I'm gonna get every single task using the tasks.element at index. So now if we hit save, we can now add a task and display a task. So let's try it out. And as you see, we successfully added the task. I will also update a task. And we can also remove a task. So the last change I want to bring to this app to is to save this check status to the database. Right now you see that our is checked status is not saved in the database. So if we press hot restart, our app is checked is gonna re reset. But this is very easy. All you need to do is to go to the Hive database and put a new task. We get the same ID as the old task. But this time when creating our task, we're gonna set is checked to widget.task.isCheck. So this way when we check or uncheck our task, it is gonna be saved in the database. So let's now hit save. And see, if we press hot restart, our S-check does not change. So that was all for today's tutorial. 
I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.